a LinkedIn post. Um, tackles top challenges for Dubai job seekers. Can you mm. It's an employer's market. We often discuss the constant job hunt in Dubai, and this LinkedIn post by Tarek Cheheb explores why. Well, the post reads as follows. Most new people in my 25K plus LinkedIn network are looking for a job in Dubai. And what are your biggest struggles? Now, let me know in the comments so I can try to help. Please be specific. One second. Uh, So the biggest struggle with job hunting in Dubai, they say, is ghosting. So this year alone, I was ghosted nearly 10 times. just in cases where I reach the final round, only waiting for a confirmation uh, offer or agreement. Could you imagine getting to the final offer and then getting ghosted? Like, that's really poor behavior. Well, other challenges, recruiters often are not not responsive. Now, another user mentioned the difficulty of finding a job from abroad. Trying to secure a role from the UK feels like you must relocate, network or on the ground and take a huge risk. Potentially spending a lot without any guarantee, it is tough. That would be a major risk. That is, by the way, for sure. You know, um, like there are a lot of uh, things that you cannot not even... Uh, think about when looking for a job, specifically if you are uh, you want to relocate somewhere else. Um, there's also a lack of relevant opportunities, I would say, um, and this is one of the key points that was highlighted on the post. Uh, decisions are frequently based on job titles, uh, years of experience, or uh, rigid criteria uh, rather than skills and adaptability and growth potential. So this approach can overlook talented professionals and don't fit the traditional mold. True potential often goes beyond what's on paper. Um, the person responded, sometimes I feel like it's more about luck than ambition in Dubai. I had to leave the UAE. because of it unfortunately I think that's a really interesting one that like Hmm. when a CV goes in um, people are looking at you know years of experience uh, and then it's really hard to kind of like understand the person like ambition should be everything you know and and like rather than just because you have two years with a big company's name Mm -hmm. doesn't mean you're the best person for the job and like personal fit and everything that means more I mean, I'll tell you something is that I think that when people are looking for a job on LinkedIn, I do understand the ghosting process because like for sure everyone must have uh, been ghosted uh, in in a way, which by the way, I, I, I understand both ends. As a recruiter, you for sure must have a lot of emails coming through, a lot of applications coming through, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, things happening other than recruiting uh, someone, you know what I mean? Like as an HR or a recruiter, you have a lot of things to think of and deal with. Um, So I understand, but at at the same time, it's not maybe not the nicest. Maybe they can be like, hey, sorry, you are not a fit for that. Better luck next time. I don't know, like maybe a professional email to not make the uh, employee or who wants to get employed, I don't know, feel like neglected and let down in a way. Mm. But at the same time, I feel like for whoever is trying to get a job, they should not take anything personally. Like, 100%. Sure it, it must be so hard yeah. after like, you know, 50 applications go out, 100 applications go out, and you still don't have a job to do that. But you have to not, I guess. Um, And I think you're so right that like a professional email, I spoke to someone uh, who's working in our company and Mm -hmm. uh, they said they actually applied back in 2021. And now I'm not saying because every company gets a lot of job applications, but he said when he he, he applied to us in 2021, he got a two or three liner one back, which is a stock response that we send to people. But we do try and make sure that we do that, that says, look, all of the job opportunities, if you're looking for a job at Augustus Media, they're all available on LinkedIn. And if we don't get back to you, uh, it's because uh, we don't have a role for you available right now. Um, But he said that, interestingly, even that... Mm-hmm. gave you a little bit of hope because you know that uh, you're dropping your CV somewhere and if the right opportunity comes up, it's going to come back. And his uh, industry was obviously in line with ours and the right opportunity did come up three years later, which is amazing. Um, but he, it was nice to get that response. And I'm sure we've missed responses over the course of 10 years, mm-hmm. but having that one liner, I think, just shows that you're seeing people making the effort to apply and it's nice to do that. But I think yeah. the ghosting here is like... When you're 10 interviews in mm. that's really cruel that exactly like for example like i have a friend who uh, wanted to work for a very big company 
and he had gone through a very hard um, interview process where like he, he he passed the first one he did the exam and passed it and then there was an, another exam and he passed it and then later on there was like a final interview um, and then they just like ghosted him and I'm like and then he would follow up and they would not reply mm. now that is kind of like cruel because like yeah. in a way that is not okay Okay, because then you, the person, it's very hard to, it's very hard like as a person when you are being ghosted to be like, okay, it's not a, it's not personal, it's, it's not okay. me, it's, it's them. It's very hard, exactly. It's very hard to be like, I'm going to detach you, not going to detach, you're going to <laughs> think about it, you're going to really uh, feel very, um, you, you're going to take it personally. Mm. So I think like that's the, the, the best option to do is just like maybe try to apply again and again and again and do not give up. Um, of course, it will, for sure, it will come through. When the right time is, when it's the right time, it will come through. What's for you won't pass you. Speaking 100%. of what's for you won't pass you, uh, we are so excited because the region.